Hi, and welcome to Improve Productivity with Qt on Mobile, Desktop and Embedded. I'm Filippo and I'm a Senior Software Engineer at Felgo. In this talk, we'll see how you can leverage the Felgo tools and the Felgo SDK to improve your Qt applications and your speed in developing them. So without further ado, let's introduce Felgo, which is a company based in Austria, both a Qt technology partner and a Qt service partner. It has been on the field for more than 10 years, working with Qt, extending it, and we really love the way Qt is turning out. We want to make it the best possible cross-platform solution. In all these years, we'll learn a lot and you can leverage some of this knowledge using our Felgo tools and Felgo SDK. So what about me? Well, by day, as I said, I'm a software engineer at Felgo. By night, I generally wear my Batman suit and I mostly work on open source applications. I'm also the author of the cute based cool retro term terminal emulator. So the Felgo SDK is composed by two main parts. The first one is the Felgo SDK itself, which extends Qt with more than 200 new APIs. These APIs have a pretty wide range, so they go down to native integrations, such as uh, access to native APIs, contacts, uh, dialogues, and stuff like that, and um, native styling of Qt widgets. It also includes a set of tools which will allow you to develop applications at a much faster rate. And it supports all the platforms supported by Qt itself. We have more than 200 successful projects and on average we can save around 20 to 80 um, hours of development for each developer per month. And we're going to see how. So, Felgo has more than 3 million downloads in Play Store and Apple App Store. And uh, the idea is that out of the box, you should be able to create outstanding UI and UX experiences for your user without much fiddling into the details of Qt or native code. Everything should work out of the box as much as possible. And we should also um, allow the UI to be adaptive and themable so that you can actually create your own branded version of the toolkit that we provide. We also aim to access to provide access to native features provided by Google or Apple platforms. So let's start by deciding by defining how the development cycle generally works. So you generally write some code, you save your source files, which then get compiled into an executable. The executable is then deployed onto devices, and then you test the results of your development. And this cycle keeps going on and on and on until your application is complete and ready for your customers. So how can we improve it using the Felgo tools? Okay, so let's concentrate a bit instead of this whole uh, development process, just on a small part which is the, comp the compile deploy vicious cycle. So this is uh, something that you do every day, multiple times a day for each device. You just, you keep pressing control R in Qt Creator to create a new application and see how it goes. This can take between 10 seconds to a few minutes, depending on the size of your application on the amount of native code that you have and it's repeated for every single device on which you want uh, to test your application. So generally you are going to have multiple platforms, Android, iOS, desktop, embedded, and uh, it's going to be repeated a lot of times each and every day because you generally work this way by iteratively improve your code, testing it, deploying it, and keep going in this cycle. We know what that means, right? So we have a lot of spare time between builds, which we can dedicate to what we like. This is not bad per se, but it breaks the flow and it generally requires you a full context switch, which you're going to pay in the long run. 
So we are not really designed for multitasking. We just tend to focus on one task, one important task and keep going on that. So how can we fix this? Well, take a look at QML Hot Reload. With QML Hot Reload, you're basically going to immediately update the running version of your application as soon as you save your source files. In this example, we're seeing on the left, a Qt creates a window. And on the right, we do have a desktop application running inside of a Feather Live client. As you can see, as soon as we press Ctrl S, changes are immediately applied without a complete redeployment. This case is also supporting mobile live clients, which are provided by the Felgo Dev app, which we're going to see in a bit. But you can already imagine how this completely changes the way you work on your code. Coding becomes really iterative. So in this example, we're even accessing uh, separate files and those are loaded in the same application. It's also very important to note that the application state is preserved. So if you um, are in, a, in a, let's say, in a secondary page, in a sub page with a checked checkbox and you deploy a new version of the application, you will still be in that sub page with the very same checked checkbox. How is this even possible? So the Felgo Live server only sends to the, Felgo, to the connected Felgo Live client what changes. And the Felgo Live client is able to diff the changes in the current QML tree and update only what's needed, preserving what's its normal application state. In this way, the application will always be in a consistent state and the changes will basically be in real time. This means that you can deploy it on a multitude of devices and a multitude of platform at the same time. In this example, we have a cute quick window, a desktop live client connected on the left, which is also displaying an iOS styling. We have a tablet, an Android tablet on a bit on the right. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it has a different DPI and it's using the Android styling. And we also have an iOS device on the extreme right using the iOS styling. And as you can see again, as you save it, you have three new versions deployed instantaneously. Some, let's summarize a bit um, the difference. So it works with any Qt and QML project, so no need to fill a specific project in here. Every Qt and QML application can be run through the hot reload uh, server and clients. It works with every platform supported by Qt. Yes, that includes WebAssembly. And it integrates with the Felgo Dev app. So we're going to see it in a bit, but it's a custom client for Android and uh, iOS. It works with C++ code. Although deploying with C++ code requires an additional step because it's not possible to push binary objects, uh, let's say, O file to um, a running application. So this uh, native code needs to be bundled with the application itself, which means that if you add a, a C++ component, you can push this new version and then this version will start behaving as a Felgo Live client for your QML files. This means that you're going to need to add just two lines of code to transform your Felgo application or Qt application into a Felgo Live application. And then all the process is kept the same. This is going to save you around 10 to 20 hours per developer per month, which is kind of a huge saving. So we introduced the Felgo Dev app. And uh, what is it exactly? So the live client is, um, the Fago Dev app is a live client implementation for Android and iOS, which means that it can behave as a live client. So like the one we saw before, which means that if the, um, the Dev app is connected on the same network as your development machine, 
it will be able to see the development machine and receive code directly from that. It's published on Google Play and Apple App Store, and it also includes a lot of example for all the components which are included in the Felgo SDK. So you can immediately see how the component will look and will behave. It will also include 20 open source demo applications. So these are full blown applications. We're going to see a few of them later in this presentation, uh, which you can also use as building block to create your own applications. It's also available on desktop and the WebAssembly. It also includes the switching theme capabilities. So as we saw before, you are able to select the style of your running application. So if you don't have an iOS device, you can see how it would look on iOS on your Android device or your desktop PC. These are the main screens of the Felgo Dev application. We have uh, the projects page where you can basically see the connect desktop button. And you are also going to have um, cached, a list of cached projects. So you can actually show your friends the application you worked on the night before if you, if you don't have the development PC with you. There's a list of components. And when you click on each, uh, on each one of these, you can see uh, sample usages and how they will look. There's a list of open source applications uh, written in Felgo. If you click on any of those, they will open up inside the dev app so you can check them out. And there's also a search page which will allow you to find the best component for your use case. And also you will be able to search for components using GPS as an example and use that as a basis for your applications. Now for the next tool on the list, Felgo Cloud IDE. The Felgo Cloud IDE is a way to write code and Felgo and Qt QML applications directly from within your web browser. It has a full Git integration based on GitLab, and so all your source files are safely stored on your Git repository, and it also includes a live preview written in WebAssembly. So the mechanism we saw before uh, of the live server communicating with the live client is still intact, and it's provided via this uh, integrated view. This also means that it's a full-blown live server running, so it can connect, it can connect to uh, separate Android devices or iOS devices running the Felgo live app. So you can deploy it instantaneously all there also. And it has integrated documentation like Qt Creator, so if you have any doubt on a Qt or a, a Felgo component, you can check that out. We can see here the Felgo Cloud IDE in all its glory. On the left side, you see all the source files. There's an editing file open in the middle, like you'd create it basically. And there's the integrated live preview on the right. This is Tima, our own uh, Jira work logs. You can find it on uh, Google Play. Let's now move to Cloud Builds which are a continuous integration and continuous delivery system for Qt projects. This is going to really simplify um, the deployment of especially mobile applications. So basically you connect a Git repository or an, any other repository to the backend. And as soon as you push a new commit, it's going to generate a new artifact, which you can later publish on Google Play or Apple App Store. If you want to take one step further, we can also manage the publishing for you. And this is going to very simplify, to really simplify all the de deployment processes. You can host it yourself on premise, or you can leverage our own servers. As you can see here, there's some kind of configuration needed. And uh, once you specify the repository and which kind of target platforms are you going to to need, you can also customize a bit of building steps, such as the SDK and DK versions used on Android, the Xcode version on iOS, uh, all the signing configuration for publishing on stores, so you can customize it to suit exactly your needs. It's now time to move to the Felgo SDK, so the MIDI part in, inside the Felgo SDK, 
But first, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back in a GIF.